The federal government is supposed to do only what the states cannot do. And my goodness, hadn't that been changed around by the experience we've seen from Washington, D.C.? They're shutting down our medical care. They're taking over our financial systems and shutting it down and indebting our grandchildren to $20 trillion of indebtedness. And now they're taking away our natural resources that are the basis that keeps Texas different from California. You understand we have a rainy day fund in Texas. You've heard everybody talking about that. Bracken, you know who pays for that? Oil and gas. Here's something people don't know. 1972 was the, was the height of production in oil and gas in the state of Texas. I want you to digest that. 1972, since then it's down. Now part of it was the price crisis that came, but a lot of it is, is the federal government, the Environmental Protection Agency, and Al Gore, and I've been there from Al Gore right on through to Obama, has kept a foot on the neck of oil and gas production in these United States. Get this, in the United States we have this system of welfare. We got, we got this system that we count who's rich, who's poor, who's poorest. Understand we are so blessed by God that in the United States, our poorest welfare recipient, the per person on the bottom of the scale, eats more red meat, is more likely to have an automobile, a telephone, a television, and an air conditioner than the average citizen of the second richest place on planet Earth, which is Western Europe. But it's time that we told the Republicans and the Democrats that we've all had way too much of taking over and telling us how government's supposed to work. We, the people, are in, ordained by our Creator with inalienable rights, and they answer to us. And you're charged today to be the light in this community to shine the light wherever you go. Join this Tea Party, do whatever you can. My name is Wayne Christian. I've been in the house for about 14 years. I've been honored to serve with some good men and women. But I ask you to consider me in the primary that's coming up for railroad commissioner. Now 80% of the folks go into the poll to vote for railroad commission and think they're running the railroads still. But they're oil and gas control in Texas. And I've expressed to you my concerns that if we lose our oil and gas to the Obama or EPA or the Sierra Club, you can shut down why Texas is different from California.